there you guys i'm teddy from bijutel beading and in today's tutorial i'm gonna be showing you really easy and step by step how to make these rondelle flowers earrings if you're new here consider subscribing with the bell in this way you will know when i make new tutorials and you will be inspired often check description for useful resources and a facebook page where you could share your beautiful designs that you did following my tutorials i will be so happy to see them thank to all of you that like share and comment this is a great and amazing support and i can't thank you enough guys for these actions you might also want to support me in paypal or by becoming a member and the last one comes with perks that you could check in description or at the join button a lot of work goes in these videos so thank to all of you that support me now guys i'm going to start with the list of the materials okay guys so what i'm using here for this video are eight by six millimeters rondelles for one earring you need six for two you need 12. here i'm using eight o beads in two colors red and silver for a pair of earrings you need 24 from the red and 12 from the silver you also need a bunch of seed beads 11 in silver color here i'm using earring finding sliver bags you could use others of your choice this is nylon island thread that is 0.3 millimeters of thickness or size d this is size 10 beading needle you could use size 11 or 12 if you want and these are scissors and now i'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and i'll be back okay guys and in my first step what i'm picking up on my needle are six rondelles and six eight-o silver beads and i'm alternating them okay so after i pick those up i'm going to slide those down I will stick my needle in my mat and here what I want to do is to make a knot and I'm making it by making a loop and going twice through the loop I've made and then I pull gently okay and I'm going to make one more knot here just to be sure it's all tight and secure okay and what i do in my next step guys is go through this silver bead and through the following rondelle and i'm picking up this sequence three 11 o silver beads one red 8 o bead and three 11 o silver beads and as I'm exiting from this rondelle, I'm going back in circle through the same rondelle. Okay. And I'm pulling this to the center of my work. Okay, I have this now. Then in my next step, I want to go in the next rondelle. And I'm taking the following sequence three silver 11 o's, one red 8 o, and one silver 11 o. And what I do here is that I go through these two silvers that I have from my previous loop of beads, and then I pull. Here, guys, I don't go through this silver one, the 8 o, but after I go through these two beads, I directly go through the rondelle. I also went through the following 8 o, and now I want to go in the next rondelle. And I take the same sequence. And now I want to go in these two silver beads. And pull tight. Then I go directly through the rondelle. And also through the following eight-o.
then I will repeat absolutely the same thing going through the rundown take this sequence again go in these two silvers and then after that like this Take the same sequence, go here in these two silvers, in this rondo, then in the following rondo. Here in the last step, guys, I will do something differently. After I exit out of this rondel, I will go through these two silver beads that are from the first loop of beads that I did in this row. Okay, I'm going here. You see through these two. And this time I take only this sequence. A silver, a red tato, and a silver 11 -0. And I go in these two here so now this is what I have then I'm going one more time through this rondel here and here And my goal, guys, is to exit through one of the silver beads, uh, or, sorry, red beads, through one of the red atos in the middle. Okay, here is where my thread is. And I take a silver one, go in the next red one. A silver 11-0. And go here in the next one. And I will continue this just filling in the gaps until the end of this row. Okay, now I have this and what I want to do is to go one more time reinforcing it. Okay, and after you reinforce it enough, you go in this direction and again through one of your rondels. And now I'm, I'm going to be coming here at the back and I'll do absolutely the same thing. I take three silvers, one red and three silvers, go back like this. Then in this direction, then take this sequence,
here. And I will continue these guys until I reach the last step of this row and it is absolutely the same like this one. So if you forget how I'm doing it, just rewind the video to the previous part and repeat it from here. Okay, I'll do this off camera and I'll meet you. Okay guys, and here I am at my last step of this row. I hope you did it up to here. It's absolutely the same thing as I showed you in the first steps. Okay, and I go here through these two silvers as I'm at the last step. And I take a silver, an eto and a silver. And I go in these two silvers. Okay, I have this. Then I go directly through this rondel. And I go directly to the center of my work. And I'm aiming for one of the red atos. Now I'm going to be filling the gaps like I showed you at the previous side. Okay, just fill in the gaps and reinforce. I'll do this off camera and I'll be back. If you forget how I'm doing it, just repeat what I did from the other side. Okay, guys, and after I reinforced my work, you see how it looks from this side and from this side. It has this really nice volume. And what I need to do next is go in this direction through some beads. And I will exit through one of the rondels and through an ato. And I'm going to take seven silver beads. Okay, seven of them. And as I'm exiting through one of those atos, I'm going in the other one. And when I pull, I have this. Okay, then again, I'm taking seven. And I go in the next ato. Seven again. Go in the next ato. And I'm going to continue this, guys, until the end of this row. And when I'm ready, I'll be back to tell you how to finish your work. Okay, guys, and here I am at my last step. Where I need to add my last seven beads. Now, if you want, you could go and reinforce this row. And now, after you reinforce it, you go through four beads in this direction. When you go, go through four beads, it means you are exiting out of the middle of these seven beads because here you have three uh, after that and here you have three before that. And now I take one silver seed bead, my earring finding and one silver seed bead. And I go back in circle through this bead here in the middle. And then I reinforce it. And after I reinforce it, I want to go here somewhere at the angle, make a knot and cut my thread. And how I do this, first I make a loop Then I go twice through the loop I've made and I pull. 
and then I go through some beads in this direction and by the way you could repeat your knot several times and when you're ready go through some beads and then cut your thread as close as possible to your work okay and now my rondelle flowers earrings are ready okay guys and now my rondelle flowers earrings are ready so if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe and also hit the bell button in this way you will be notified for my new content liking sharing and commenting is a great support for my channel and my mission so if you do this thank you so much i can't thank you enough for these actions check description for a facebook page where you could share your beautiful designs that you did following my tutorials and you might also want to support me in paypal or by becoming a member and the last one comes with perks that you could check in description and at the join button thank you so much for staying here with me until the end now click on the video that you see on your screens and continue watching